Hi guys, I'm Barbara and this is Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, guys, if you're looking for information to book a personal reading or looking for um, our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, you will find the link in the description box below the video. I am giving away um, a 30-minute uh, reading if you uh, win the 30 minute reading if you're out of the country it will be either Skype or Zoom if you are in the US it will be either a phone call or a Skype um, and I'm also giving away three three question readings those will all be video recordings so guys if you're interested in winning all you need to do is like the video comment what you're doing for Christmas and make sure you're subscribed to the channel you can do it on both Quartro's Tarot and Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. I will be drawing the winner on um, Christmas Eve. So let's go. Let's get into this for Aquarius. Ah, Aquarius, you're communicating that you love somebody and you want to be with them. It's always good to hear. Okay, so let's get all 12 signs around you, Aquarius, starting with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries... They're trapped in their head about a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Taurus, their wish fulfillment is to cause mind games and manipulate. Their wish fulfillment is to control and, and uh, mind games and manipulate people. Play mind games and manipulate. Um, three cards wanted to come out for Gemini. And so somebody is... Somebody's unhappy, so they're holding back communication with you. If you're dealing with a cancer, cancer wants to speak the truth. If you're dealing with a Leo, someone's very guarded where you're concerned. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're juggling, they're betraying you by, they're cheating. They're cheating. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody's trying to move past the burden. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, somebody is walking away from love. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, it's illuminating how toxic the situation is. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, somebody is cutting somebody out and ending the situation. And if you're dealing with another Aquarius, um, there may be something hidden or you may have strong emotions about a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, um, this is a... Um, this is a strong connection to a, like a pre-empress connection um, in a family situation. So you may, you may have a very strong connection to a Pisces. So let's get into this Aquarius and find out what's happening. You are communicating that you want to be with somebody here. You're telling somebody, I want to be with you. Okay, what do we got for Aquarius? So there's a harsh truth of a tower moment. So, you know, the Knight of Swords, this is somebody coming in with information, uh, could be communication. Um, very quickly, but it's a harsh truth. So they've got their, what they're bringing is not going to, you know, it's, it's going to cause this tower moment. This harsh truth caused this tower moment in divine timing. Taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture, walking away from some kind of betrayal. I feel you want justice is illuminated here. Justice is illuminated. Whatever this tower moment was, you got the hell out of Dodge. Okay. I feel like with you, this, there are a lot of majors, a lot of major arcana here. You could be married here. You could be a king of pentacles. You could be a married man, Aquarius.
Justice is illuminated. You took that leap of faith, King of Pentacles, trapped in your head about the Queen of Pentacles. See, I feel like you're married. I don't know why that came out that way, but you are a married couple. You are a married couple here. And you both, um, you obviously Aquarius, your person could be any, any Zodiac sign. Somebody's trying to tempt you. Aquarius, somebody's trying to attempt you uh, to, to tempt you away from your partner. So the harsh truth is uh, causing a tower moment. In divine timing, you're looking at the bigger picture and you're walking away from some kind of betrayal. You're walking away from someone's here's obsessed with offering you to juggle. They're offering you to juggle. They're like, they're throwing it themselves at you. You have a new beginning because you look back at a past mistake. And this is, that was, this is your wish fulfillment is a new beginning, but you're looking back. You're looking back. This person may be trying to throw themselves at you and you are not buying the bait. You're worried. You're in your head having sleepless nights where your person is concerned. You don't want to lose your person. That's what I feel. Justice is illuminated here. I, I feel like, you know, if you took the chance, it would cause drama here. It would just cause a lot of not, a lot of not, uh, not nice things. Let me just, why you're having trouble communicating with your person or you're trying you're tripping over your own words, Aquarius, right? There's an offer here. This offer, this person tempting you with that devil energy, with an offer, a tempting offer, so to speak, to juggle. This is that offer. The harsh truth is this offer caused the tower moment for you, right? You want a victory. You see things from a different perspective in divine timing, right? Divine timing. You need to walk away from this. It's almost like it's fate for you to move on. The universe is telling you this is not for you. Move on, right? This is going to cause more chaos in your life than you know what to do with, right? And it has to do with a third party and justice is illuminated now because you didn't buy it. You weren't tempted with this. If you would have taken that bait and taken that leap, there was deception here. They wanted you to jump into this deception, King of Pentacles, but you were having sleepless nights about your person, rushing towards your person. It's like, nope, 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 nope. I want to go that direction. But they kept tempting you to, to juggle, right? But you, you did some soul searching and you decided to walk away. Because you know that that would be betraying your, betraying your family. This would be a big betrayal of your family, right? So you, even if they tempted you, you chose to walk away from this. You chose to walk away from this because you didn't want to be, uh, you did not want to betray your family with a new passionate beginning. You chose not to take the bait. I feel like you're getting, you're getting this ace of pentacles it's almost like the universe is rewarding you for not taking the bait. Your wish fulfillment is a new beginning. You're looking back. You almost be, it's almost like you're looking back. Like you almost made a mistake. Like you almost bought the bait, but you did it. You did it right. You're working on communicating. I feel like you want to tell your partner. You're working on emotional communication to tell your partner that you held back and you left this person out in the cold. You were trapped in your head about the tower moment. You didn't want to cause any harm to your family, right? The harsh truth with this tower causing this tower. So you got the harsh truth about a tower, a harsh truth about a tower. You want to be with your partner. Even if you have burdens with your partner and sometimes feel like there's no equal give and take in your partnership, you are communicating this. You're communicating, I still want to be with you. 
through through thick and thin, I want to be with you. I like this reading for you, Aquarius. You know, somebody tried to tempt you away from your family and you said, no, I'm choosing, I'm choosing my, my partner over the nonsense. And, and, and that's where I'm staying. And now you're trying to tell your partner. And I know maybe that's what you're having a hard time telling your partner. Look, this is what happened. And I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it because I want to be with you. And that's what you're communicating, that you want to be with your partner. You want to put in the hard work. You know, you were at a crossroads. You may, this is them tempting you. This is being tempted. You being at a crossroads about the gamble, the risk, right? You, for a split second, for a split second, you may have thought, you know, maybe I should. Right. But it illuminated something to you that you need to move on. So, you know, maybe the universe gave you that extra nudge. Hey, this isn't for you. Move on. And, and look, a victory is achieved because you didn't buy the bait. Aquarius, you did not buy the bait. Tell me about Aquarius. I feel like you could be an older person, like middle-aged. This is transforming something for you. It may have to do with career. This is a transformation, but you're confident about your abilities. And you're empowered. So I feel like no matter what this person, you may have worked with this person. It could have been somebody from your work that did this. But it's like you got the, you, you know the answer to the question. And it's transformed you. Whatever this was, it transformed your career. Um, it may have even, um, no, it's a transformation here. Whatever this is, it could have been um, work related. Uh, but I feel like you have the confidence and you're empowered to move forward in the right direction. Whatever this was, um, you didn't buy it. So there you go. So Aquarius, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed week.